we're looking at similar figures. We've looked at these before, so hopefully this will not be too strenuous on your brain. So I'm just gonna turn this down a little bit. That's better. Now, as I mentioned, or as I wrote, you'll need a ruler for this, not just to make some straight lines, but you're actually gonna have to do some measurements. So, what I want you to do is, beside your random quadrilateral, um, you will need some extra space. So, um, I just said to Mark um, just now, oh, you've already got pre-drawn columns. That's gonna make this, uh, we'll make it work, that's okay. Um, you're gonna need some space beside your quadrilateral, because we're going to create one like this that is similar. And we're gonna do it in a very particular way that's really kind of neat. I hope you'll have a bit of fun with it. Um, and we're gonna work out later on why exactly this works. Maybe you can work it out as we do it, okay? I would like you to, with your pencil, pick a point, any point, somewhere around, like I'm gonna put mine over here. So, uh, the reason why I'm putting mine here is because I have plenty of space to the right of my diagram, but you could put it like above. If you've got space below your diagram, you could put your point above. You could even put your point inside the diagram, inside the quadrilateral. You'll see why later on it actually doesn't matter where you place it, okay? I've placed mine a little bit to the left. Now what I want you to do with your ruler is, so watch this carefully, I'll, I'll show it up here, and then I'll ask you to do the same, okay? You've got one, two, three, four points here. Let's just name them, let's call them, I don't know, something like A, B, C, D. That's nice and um, original. A, B, C, and D. Whichever was the one that you labeled as A. Put your ruler, pick it up right now if you've got it there. Put your ruler at the point that you selected and then, uh, I, have a, I thought I had a magnetic one, but it's gone evidently. Place it so it goes through A, okay? So you can see I'm holding my ruler in place. It starts at my spot, my random spot over here, and then it goes, it reaches up to my first corner of the quadrilateral A, okay? Now, when you've got your ruler in position, I want you to measure that distance. Because my diagram is so large, that's 22 centimeters on my diagram. Maybe it's three or four centimeters on yours, okay? When you've marked out that 22, or that whatever distance it is, I want you to double that. So for example, you might have measured three and a half centimeters. You double that, you're gonna get seven. seven. Um, if you measured out exactly five centimeters, you double that, you're gonna get 10. And I want you to find that spot on your ruler and place another point there. So mine was 22, I'm gonna double, which gives me 44. Mark that spot in, okay? So we've marked a new spot in, it came from A. So I'm gonna call this new one I'm gonna rub this out so I have some spot to write in. I'm gonna call this new spot A dash, okay? If you like having drawn that out, if you've got another color, you could draw the line on which you drew that. So mine would look something like this. Okay, so there you go. It's a bit wonky, but you get the idea, right? Now I want you to rinse and repeat. So for each of the corners you've got, I want you to measure to there, double the distance and place a new point. So I'll show you again how I did that. To get to B, I'm gonna hold my ruler like so, okay? On my enormous diagram, that's 42. So I'm gonna double and place me at 84. So it's down here. There we go. So because I created this new point out of B, I'm gonna call it, no surprises, B dash. So I've got a new point. Go ahead, repeat that for C and for D. You'll have four new points, and then once you've got them all, I'll tell you what to do with them. The first one, any way you like, any way you like. So that, yeah, that first point, anywhere you like. Literally anywhere you like. But um, don't put it too far away, otherwise what you're gonna do will be hard.
Bless you. Okay, could you raise your hand if you've got your A dash, B dash, and C dash, and C, and D dash on? Hands up. Anyone got all four? Excellent. Got a couple. Still waiting. Yeah, fantastic. Still waiting for a few more. Those of you who have got all four of your new points, what I'd like you to do is just like you joined up the original dots to create a quadrilateral, I want you to create a new quadrilateral, A dash, B dash, C dash, D dash. Can you do that for me? So, yeah, so draw it in the same order that you had A, B, C, D. Okay, just join everything up, okay? That's really wonky, I gotta fix that. <laughs> Is it, is it all on your page, Harry? Uh, okay, good, good, that'll do. Okay, so um, you may be still going, that's fine. As you're doing that, let's discuss what we've created or what you are currently creating, okay? What you've done is what we call a scale enlargement, a scale enlargement. By taking each of the original points, measuring out from wherever, and then doubling that distance, okay? I want you to now measure something else. Um, these will all be different, but I actually want you to put it onto your diagram. Measure your length AB wherever it happens to be. So my AB is here, okay? So I'm gonna find out what that length is. When you measure that, put it onto your diagram. So mine is 31 centimeters. Okay, obviously yours will be smaller, so maybe you wanna get a decimal point of accuracy, something like that. But now when you have a look at your new version, your bigger version, what you should find is when you measure here, I'm gonna have to move this along, measure from the other side. If you've done it accurately, your new version should be double. It should be double, right? Mine is 62, okay? How come it's double? Why not like triple? Yeah, very good. When we did this um, new creation of the new point, right? This distance here, we doubled it to get to the new one. Right? You have the double distance from A to get to A dash. And we've done this for every single one. You could measure them all out, but it's, it's not the point. Okay? So we've created what we call similar figures. Okay? When I speak, sorry, I'll start again. When you speak, I give you my full attention. It's just a courtesy thing, you know? Like one human being to another. I would really like you to return the favor. Thanks. Similar figures, what well, we gave us our heading, right? You've just created them. What are they? How would you describe, like, they're not exactly the same, are they? That's why we don't say the same figures. What ways are they the same? Because they are the same in a lot of ways. What do you reckon? Okay, scale is something to do with size, right? I would suggest that scale is actually the thing that is different between these shapes, yeah? So that's actually important. So we might jot that down. So similar figures, you can just put this beside your shape or underneath if you've got no space beside it. Similar figures have a different scale. But in literally every other way that matters, they're the same. They're identical in every other way. So I'm even gonna write that. But they are identical in all other ways. You started with a quadrilateral, you ended with a quadrilateral, right? Uh, you started with a particular bunch of angles. See how this is like a sharp angle, and uh, this one was like a, uh, this one over here was a wide angle? Well, your sharp angle becomes another sharp angle, and your wide angle becomes another wide angle. Acute and obtuse, I should say, okay? All the proportions are the same. So for example, see my AB? For me, it looks roughly double the length of CD. Okay, roughly anyway, okay? 
in my new quadrilateral, A dash, B dash, should be double the length of C dash, D dash. So all of the proportions stay the same, okay? So what we've done is create an enlargement. This is our original. In fact, I'm gonna label that with the correct color. This is my original over here. Does anyone know what the new shape is called? The one we created that was different. This guy here, it starts with an I. It's called the, um, it's called the image. You may have heard this word from um, last year, the year before, okay? Our image was double the size, uh, but you can create one that's smaller. What would we do to create one that was half the size, not double? Yeah. Same thing we did before, but instead of like doubling it, half the Very good. So remember, my first measurement was 22, and so I went to 44. Okay, well, if I wanted one that was half the size, a little version, instead of going to 22, I would go to 11, right? And so you can see all the distances are going to be, I'm going to create a shape up here. Okay, in fact, if you've drawn out the lines like I have, it doesn't take you much effort to create the new points along here, and you'll get a small version, okay? Um, you remember I said before, you could put your original point any way you like. Well, imagine if I created the same, oh, that's not the same, but you get the idea. Imagine if I had the same shape and I put the point in the middle. Where will the image go? It's going to go around, exactly right, because you're going to go measure here, and then you're going to go further. You're going to go here and then further, here. So you get kind of like a spider web sort of shape, right? Ta-da! So there it is, okay? That's not too bad. So it's still the same deal. It's still enlarged. It's still identical in every way except for scale, okay?